Tavoni City, right here. Let's go. We built this city. This rock looks like a giant petrified sponge, but it's not. It's called Tavoni. It's actually sandstone that's been worn away over time. It just looks like a sponge. All of these holes were formed by two important processes that break apart rocks. Any guesses? Well, it's chemical and physical weathering that eventually turned this into this. Now. How exactly did that happen? And it's such a nice place too. Hmm. So first, chemical weathering begins the process when falling rain dissolves carbon dioxide from the air. This makes rainwater weak carbonic acid. In fact, all rain, even in unpolluted areas, is slightly acidic. Over time, this carbonic acid begins to dissolve the calcium carbonate, or limestone cement that holds together the sand grains in some sedimentary rocks, like the ones here. Next, physical weathering takes over when salt spray from the ocean seeps into the tiny air spacers or pores between the sand grains and the sandstone. You gotta look close to see it. As the rock warms up from the sun, the water evaporates and salt crystals begin to grow. Then, something really cool happens. As these tiny crystals are heated more by the sun, they expand and pop! They force apart the sand grains in the rock. This process is called haloplasty, and it helps reduce this sandstone into these sand grains. of any other variables that might make this Tifoni look so weird? Here, you're gonna need this. Look right here. Some parts of the sandstone have more pores than others, so rain and salt water can get down in there to eat away at those places more quickly. Right down here is your second clue. Gravity also plays a role because it causes rain and salt spray to accumulate in holes or pockets. It's kind of like a tooth cavity. Once it starts dissolving a weak spot, it keeps growing. With enough time, you end up with this odd, uneven weathering that makes this sandstone outcropping look like a huge tooth cavity gone berserk. Or like a sponge. But here's a key point. Chemical and physical weathering of rocks happens without any physical movement of the rock. It's called in situ, which is Latin for in place. Plus, it takes so long that we can't actually see it happening. So if weathering happens in situ, what do we call the process of breaking down rocks? Your movement. That's called erosion. Erosion occurs when weathered rock material is transported from one place to another. Also, land that's stripped of its natural forest cover is more prone to erosion, like farm fields, deforested hillsides, wave pounded coastlines, you get the idea. But chemical and physical weathering aren't the only types of weathering. Can you think of another type that can break down solid rock into sand or soil? What would you call this kind of weathering? Take a look at some of the rocks in your backyard. Yeah, sure, you might think it's just a rock, but every rock has its own story to tell. Like this rock. Look at this weird banding pattern. How did it end up looking like that? Another great reason to never stop exploring your world.
This looks like a giant piece of petrified pie with a huge piece cut out of it. And I think it's rhubarb. A lot of people hate fruitcake, but I love fruitcake. And this looks like petrified fruitcake. Well, this looks like a petrified camel hump. 